All right, today I'm going to show you how to make your own music using a program called MuseScore. Now there's lots of tutorials on how to use MuseScore and to get really good at using all the features. Today is just very basic. I want you to get in there and start making some music, specifically some harmonies. Now we're going to talk a little bit about harmony, how to stack notes on top of each other. And in another video, I'm going to show you how to use a program called Acapella Maker. It's a free program where you can record over yourself. I'm gonna go through that later. So um, let me share. First of all, you need to know how to get MuseScore. So we're going to go to my share screen. And so here we are. And we're gonna go on to, uh, just type into Google MuseScore, M-U-S-E-S-C-O-R-E. -E, and I want you to click on that. Go to the MuseScore website and just free download. It is a program you do have to put on your computer. And it's not huge, but it's not a small program either. So once you get that, you're going to have this. So once you pull up MuseScore, this is what you got. So you have your startup window here, your start center. So we're going to click out of that. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to Click out of this, you don't need this untitled. I want you to open new right here, create new up here in the top corner. And just call it whatever you want, my song or test or whatever, your name. And if you wanna put a copyright, you don't have to fill in any of this if you don't want to. Next, and this is, these are templates you can use. I want you to go under choose instrument right under general. And you're going to pick three of whatever instrument you play. So I'm just gonna go and pick alto saxophone. Put one, click, double click again, double click again. You can also hit add. Then we're gonna go down to next. Choose your key signature. Now, if you're a string player, you probably wanna do D unless you wanna do G or something like that. Um, this is transposed. So if alto saxophone players want one sharp, they have to click concert B flat. So this is all concert pitches. If you want, um, you know, one flat, then you'll have to click the appropriate concert pitch. So if trumpets, clarinets want no flats, no sharps, they have to click B flat. So just in general, if you play a wind instrument, you click B flat. If you play a string instrument, Click D, just keep things easy. And we'll click that, hit next. Uh, we'll just do like 10 measures. How many? How long you want your piece? You can change that later. So there we go, there's our 10 measures. It's alto saxophone, it automatically transposed us for you. Even though we picked B flat, it's got it transposed to our G scale. So we're just gonna talk very basic. So here's, there's two modes. There's selection mode and note entry mode. Um, right now we're in selection mode. We can highlight measures and things like that. So we're going to go to note entry mode by either pressing this end button for notes or you can click N on your keyboard. So right now we're going to click quarter note and I just want to talk very briefly about harmony. And you won't be able to hear this but as you type it in when you have the program it will play it back to you. And then of course you can hit back and it'll play it but you can't hear that right now because of the software I'm using. But anyway, uh, so there you go. There's your uh, notes being played. And to harmonize it, we're gonna go back to note entry mode and to how to harmonize. Now there's lots of rules how to harmonize and the proper way to do it. I'm not gonna teach you that right now. I really want you to just experiment and come up with your own harmonies. Um, once you put something down, it's really easy to change it. You can just listen to it and flip around and change it. Now, in general, you want to stack notes using your arpeggio notes. Or if you can't remember that, just try, if you're starting on G, then skip the next space note, go up to the next line note. If you start on a line, keep going up a line. If you start on a space, go up a space. And you can kind of hear how that sounds. Now, that's just a guideline. Okay, so we're gonna stack that up. Three notes high. You don't have to do three. We got A and C, B and a D, 
and then a C and an E. And let's put some low notes in there. So we got, um, we already have three notes here. So let's put a A, C, and an E, but let's put it way down here. Just see what it sounds like. And we got B, D, F. We could put an F down here if we wanted to, or we could double one of these notes. We could go down to a D. Let's try that. And then now we have C, E. We could throw a G in there or just double one of these notes. Let's try doubling one of these. Notes. And again, you won't be able to hear this uh, when you have your own grip. And if you like it, keep it. If you don't, change one of these notes. Now, we're out of note entry mode because I hit play. You can, two ways to move notes. You can click on the note, hit the up down arrows. It does it by half steps. Like that. Now, once you get it like you want it, then out of note entry mode. So if you're in there, click out. And you can click somewhere in the middle of the measure. Sometimes you have to try a couple times. There it was. And then I'm going to hit Control C. And I'm going to click on this measure, hit Control V for paste. So copy, paste, Control C. And then Control V again. And I'm going to put it on three lines. Why are we doing this? Because you're going to be recording this song three times and playing each part. And so that way you'll make your own song, your own harmonies. So now let's clean it up. So I'm gonna get rid of the notes that I need to get rid of. So this is gonna be all the low notes, this is gonna be the middle notes, and this is gonna be the high notes. So click on this note, hit the delete button in the top right corner, delete, delete, delete. Now let's get rid of the bottom notes. Oops, I did that wrong. Do, 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 do. I hit Control Z. So I'm going to get rid of all the bottom notes. Did that wrong, sorry. So now our, my top line has only the high notes. And my bottom line, uh, my middle line is going to have the middle notes. And get rid of the bottom notes. And these, I get rid of the top notes. And I'm just hitting, clicking on the note with my cursor and hitting delete. And there I have the three different parts. And of course, just stick with something very simple. Just do quarter notes and eighth notes. You want all the top line to be all the highest notes. You want this in the middle. They can double each other, meaning two parts can play the same note, but you don't want them to cross. You don't want the middle line to go above the top line and vice versa. You don't want the middle line to go lower than the bottom line. You want the low notes on the bottom and so on like that. So I want you to experiment with that and try that out. And then my next video is what to do next. So first make a little four or five measure song. Don't do anything complicated. Uh, you're probably just gonna get frustrated and give up. So just do something easy, manipulate the notes and just try it out. Do four to eight measures. Uh, put rests in there, put eighth notes. I wouldn't do anything too complicated. Um, if you want to do a made song, an already song, harmonize a song that already exists, I would suggest doing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So go back to note entry mode. So I'm going to give you the first couple of notes. The rest you can uh, figure out by ear. So it's just uh, repeats the first note, whatever scale you're in, start on the number one note. So if you're in D, concert D for strings, you start on a D. Saxophone, we're doing concert B flat, which starts on a G. So we start on our G, G, G. We jump up to five notes and then six. And then back to uh, half note five. And then it just goes down from there. And then you can figure that one, one, five, five, six, six, five, and so on. So there you go. My next video will be what to do next once you have your song created. You can do an original or just do something easy like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It only uses six notes. So you guys have fun with that. And um, my next video is what to do next, and then I'll have a video on how to make a acapella video. So you guys have fun with that, and I will come back next.